You know, the idea of moving closer to your children as you age sounds like the perfect plan, right? After all, family means support, love, and comfort, or does it? But what if I told you that living near your children in your golden years could actually become one of the biggest mistakes of your life? Let's be honest. As we grow older, it's natural to seek security, and living close to family seems like the logical choice. You imagine those comforting weekend meals, the grandkids running around, and the assurance that someone's just a doorbell away if you need help. But there's another side to this picture that rarely gets talked about. Have you ever thought about how this seemingly secure decision could impact your personal freedom, your emotional well-being, and even your relationships with your children? It's often said that too much closeness can breed tension, dependency, and even regret. Imagine feeling like a guest in your child's life, where every visit, every conversation, and every shared meal becomes a potential source of friction. It's a reality many seniors quietly face, but seldom openly discuss. In today's video, we'll unravel why living near your children can sometimes create more stress than support. From feeling like you've lost your independence to unintentionally becoming a burden, we'll cover the often ignored consequences of this major life decision. But before we dive deep, I really want to know, have you ever faced challenges while living close to your family in your old age? Or do you know someone who did? Share your thoughts and stories in the comments below. I'm genuinely curious to hear about your experiences. Let's explore this together. 1. Loss of Independence Living close to your children might seem like a comforting choice, but it can unexpectedly lead to a significant loss of independence. When you're physically close, there's a natural tendency for your children to become more involved in your daily life. While it's often out of love and concern, it can easily transition into a dependency that you never intended. Imagine this. You move closer to your children hoping for occasional help, but soon find yourself relying on them for decisions you once made independently, whether it's about managing your day, handling simple errands, or even personal health choices. The feeling of being watched over can become overwhelming, creating a sense that you've lost control over your own life. Let me share a story. Mrs. Khan was once a lively, independent woman in her early 70s who chose to move next door to her daughter. Initially, she felt secure, knowing her family was nearby. But over time, her daughter's involvement in her decisions became so frequent that Mrs. Khan felt she had lost her voice in her own matters. From what groceries to buy to which doctor to consult, her independence was slowly slipping away. She missed the days when she could decide things for herself without feeling like she had to seek permission or approval. This kind of dependency doesn't just affect day-to-day -day activities, it can impact emotional well-being. The feeling of not being able to fully control your life can lead to frustration and even resentment. After all, maintaining a sense of autonomy is crucial for dignity, no matter the age. Independence isn't just about living alone, it's about feeling capable and respected. 2. Strained Relationships When you live close to your children, it's easy to think that the proximity will only strengthen family bonds. But sometimes, too much closeness can bring unexpected tension. The daily interactions, while comforting at first, can eventually lead to disagreements over boundaries, lifestyle choices, and personal habits. Issues that wouldn't arise if there was a bit more distance. Consider this scenario. Mr. Anwar, a widower in his 80s, decided to move near his son, hoping to have regular family gatherings and a more active role with his grandchildren. However, the frequency of visits soon started causing unintentional friction. Mr. Anwar had different ideas about parenting, household management, and even meal timings. These differences, which might have been easy to overlook from a distance, became a source of constant disagreements. 
His son felt Mr. Anwar was overstepping, while Mr. Anwar felt underappreciated and ignored. Such situations can lead to a breakdown in communication, with both sides feeling misunderstood. The parent might start feeling like they're walking on eggshells, trying not to interfere, while the children might feel they are expected to balance their own lives with constant involvement in their parents' needs. The irony is that the very intention of closeness to nurture love and support can end up breeding resentment. As a result, relationships that were once strong can start to weaken due to the pressure of constant togetherness. 3. Unintentional Burden when elders move closer to their children, the intention is often to stay connected and share life's joys. However, this closeness can unintentionally create a feeling of being a burden, both for the elders and their children. What starts as a sincere desire to help and support can slowly turn into a sense of obligation for the children, leading to feelings of guilt on both sides. Imagine this. Mrs. Ali, an 82-year-old mother, moved next to her daughter after her husband passed away. Initially, she was excited to be close to family, imagining happy gatherings and spontaneous visits. But soon, her daughter started feeling the pressure of always having to be available, whether it was running errands, accompanying Mrs. Ali to doctor appointments, or even simply making regular visits to keep her mother company. The daughter, while wanting to help, began feeling overwhelmed as she tried to juggle her own work, family and social life. Mrs. Ali sensed her daughter's stress, and instead of finding comfort, she began feeling guilty for asking for help. She felt like she was disrupting her daughter's routine, even for small requests. This created a silent barrier between them, with Mrs. Ali trying to manage more on her own to avoid burdening her daughter, and the daughter feeling guilty for not doing enough. The unspoken tension kept growing, making their relationship more complicated than it was before they lived so close. This feeling of being an unintentional burden is one of the most painful realizations for elders. No parent wants to be seen as a problem, Yet the proximity can create situations where even simple needs feel like extra pressure. It's a reality that can make both sides uncomfortable, eventually causing elders to isolate themselves further to avoid imposing on their children. 4. Limited Personal Growth Living close to your children can unintentionally restrict opportunities for personal growth and new experiences in old age. While family closeness offers comfort, it can also limit the elder's ability to explore new hobbies, make new friends, or discover new interests, elements that are vital for a fulfilling life in the later years. Consider the case of Mr. Salim, a retired teacher in his late 70s, who decided to move to the same city as his son, hoping to enjoy more family time. Initially, he found joy in attending family dinners and seeing his grandchildren regularly. But as time passed, he realized that his social circle had become smaller. His daily routine was mainly centered around his family, leaving little room for engaging in new activities or meeting people his own age. Mr. Salim had always wanted to join a reading club and engage in lively debates, but being close to family made it harder for him to venture out independently. His family's presence, while comforting, unintentionally created a comfortable bubble that limited his willingness to pursue his interests actively. The fear of missing out on family events often kept him from pursuing other social opportunities. This lack of personal growth doesn't just affect the elders' mental and emotional well-being, it can also impact their physical health. Engaging in new activities, meeting people and discovering new hobbies keep the mind sharp and spirits high, which are crucial aspects of aging gracefully. When elders limit themselves to the family circle alone, they might miss out on opportunities that could have brought them joy, fulfillment and a sense of accomplishment. Sometimes, moving a bit further away or establishing clear boundaries can encourage both generations to maintain a healthy balance, 
allowing elders to engage with a wider community and find new paths of growth without feeling guilty about missing family events. Risk of Emotional Dependence Living close to children often brings comfort, but it can also lead to increased emotional dependence. While the presence of family offers companionship, it might limit the elder's ability to cultivate a sense of inner contentment and self-reliance, which is crucial in the later stages of life. Take, for example, Mrs. Fatima, who moved near her son after her husband's passing. She was used to her son dropping by every other day, chatting over tea and helping with chores. This daily presence became her primary source of emotional support. But what she didn't realize was that this constant dependency was making her more vulnerable. Whenever her son couldn't visit, due to work, his own family or other commitments, Mrs. Fatima found herself feeling lonely, anxious, and even abandoned. Her happiness had become tied to her son's availability. Emotional dependence can create a fragile state of mind, where elders feel overly attached to their children's schedules, activities, and presence. This reliance can lead to unnecessary conflicts as well, as parents might start expecting more attention than children can realistically offer. Loss of privacy While the idea of living near children offers a sense of safety, it often comes at the cost of personal privacy. Constant proximity can unintentionally lead to frequent drop-ins, unannounced visits, and unsolicited advice leaving elders feeling like they're always under someone's watchful eye. Consider Mr. Ahmed's story. After moving next to his daughter's family, he found himself welcoming regular, often unplanned visits from his grandchildren and in-laws. While he loved their company, there were days when he simply wanted some quiet time to read a book, reflect on memories, or just relax in solitude but the constant foot traffic meant he rarely had the peaceful privacy he cherished. Even small routines, like having his morning tea at a slow pace or taking a quiet nap in the afternoon, were interrupted by sudden visits or loud noises. This lack of personal space can be frustrating. Elders, like everyone else, need time to themselves, a space where they can think, relax, or just be without feeling obligated to engage. Too much interference can make them feel as though they're living more in a shared space rather than their own home. It can also lead to an underlying sense of pressure, as elders may feel they must always be presentable or accommodating to visitors. Maintaining privacy is vital for mental peace and personal comfort. Having personal space doesn't mean isolation, it simply means having the freedom to choose when to interact and when to retreat. To preserve this privacy, it's essential to establish boundaries early on. Simple measures, like setting specific times for visits or encouraging phone calls before dropping by, can make a significant difference. 7. Financial Complications Living close to family often blurs financial boundaries, creating potential misunderstandings or even conflicts. While sharing resources and helping each other financially is common within families, it can sometimes lead to uncomfortable situations when expectations aren't clearly set. Consider the story of Mr. Iqbal, a retired bank manager who moved closer to his daughter. While Mr. Iqbal had his pension and savings, his daughter started asking for small financial help occasionally, like contributing to groceries or paying a utility bill. At first, Mr. Iqbal was happy to help, but over time, the frequency of these requests increased. He began feeling that his financial support was becoming expected rather than appreciated. This kind of situation can cause significant stress for elders, especially when they are on a fixed income, the pressure to contribute financially, even if they can't afford it, can lead to feelings of guilt or resentment. On the other hand, elders themselves may feel more comfortable asking for financial help when they live close to children, potentially creating an unintended financial burden on the younger generation. 
Financial independence is a key factor in maintaining personal dignity and peace of mind in old age. It's crucial for both generations to communicate openly about financial matters to avoid misunderstandings. Setting clear expectations, like when to offer help, how much is reasonable, and whether it's a gift or a loan, can prevent financial entanglements that strain relationships. For elders, it's essential to maintain some financial independence, even when living near family. Creating a budget that prioritizes personal needs while setting aside a small amount for unexpected expenses can help sustain financial dignity and reduce stress. 8. Impact on Health Choices while living close to children can provide support in emergencies, it can also complicate health decisions. When elders are nearby, children often feel more involved, and sometimes overly so, in their parents' health care. This involvement, while well-intentioned, can lead to conflicts over personal preferences, treatments, and even lifestyle choices. Take the story of Mrs. Javed, an 85-year-old who moved near her son, after experiencing health issues. Her son, eager to help, started accompanying her to doctor appointments and even made decisions on her behalf, like changing medications or recommending procedures. Although Mrs. Javid appreciated the care, she began feeling that her personal choices were no longer respected. She wanted to follow a specific diet and preferred natural remedies, but her son insisted on stricter, conventional medical treatments, leaving her feeling unheard. This kind of interference can impact an elder's sense of autonomy and decision-making in healthcare. It can also create emotional strain, as parents may not want to disagree with their children's suggestions out of fear of causing tension. However, it's essential for elders to feel empowered in making their own health choices, as it directly affects their well-being and sense of control. To balance this dynamic, clear communication is necessary. Elders should express their healthcare preferences openly, emphasizing their desire for support rather than control. Children, on the other hand, need to listen with empathy and respect. Understanding that personal choice is a vital part of their parents' dignity and peace of mind. Involving a trusted healthcare professional as a mediator can also be beneficial, helping to clarify medical information and options without adding emotional pressure. This ensures that health decisions are collaborative rather than imposed, fostering a healthier and more respectful relationship between generations. As we've explored, living close to your children in old age can offer comfort and security, but it also comes with significant challenges. From the loss of independence and privacy to the risk of strained relationships and financial complications, the reality isn't always as rosy as it seems. While family bonds are precious, maintaining a healthy balance is just as vital for both generations. It's important to remember that old age doesn't mean a complete surrender of personal freedom or dignity. It's a stage of life where you should still have control over your choices, relationships, and overall well-being. Sometimes, loving from a distance with boundaries in place can lead to healthier relationships and greater personal fulfillment. Reflecting on all these points, it's clear that the key lies in communication and mutual respect. If you're an elder, considering moving closer to your children, think about the implications not just for today, but for the long term. Will it allow you to maintain your independence? Will it respect your privacy? Can it be done without creating an emotional or financial burden? These are the questions worth pondering. And to the children watching this video, remember that while it's natural to want to protect and support your aging parents, their personal space, privacy, and independence matter just as much as your presence. A supportive phone call, a planned visit, or even small gestures of understanding can go a long way in keeping the relationship strong and harmonious. Finally, I'd love to hear your thoughts. What do you think about living close to family in old age? Do you believe it's a good idea, or do you think it's better to maintain a bit of distance? Share your experiences in the comments below. I'm eager to learn from your perspectives.
Thank you for watching, and remember, wisdom often grows best when it has the space to breathe.